national, le gouvernement est prêt euh, à enterrer les morts des communautés des Autochtones, des Premières Nations, mais n'est pas prêt à affronter la grippe H1N1. Pourquoi pas? On demande un plan, Monsieur le Président, mais c'est le même gouvernement qui refuse de signer la déclaration sur les peuples autochtones, refuse de construire, construire les écoles nécessaires pour les étudiants, même de respecter les traités, Monsieur le Président. Et maintenant, il leur envoie des sacs mortuaires. C'est inacceptable, ce manque de respect. Quand est-ce qu'ils vont travailler avec les leaders autochtones? Uh, L'honorable ministre des Transports. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I share the uh, views of uh, the leader of the NDP in one point. Uh, what happened was incredibly unacceptable. Uh, I don't think uh, the leader of the NDP uh, is putting much light on it and does himself any service by his comments at the outset of that question. Honorable member for Toronto, Danforth. Mr. Speaker, let's stop the excuses here. There is no plan for assisting these communities to deal with the H1N1 crisis. That's the problem. If this government wants to respond to the situation of the body bags, then bring forward your plan. Put it here so that the people can know what it is. But more importantly, be in touch with the First Nations leadership of this country that are waiting to work with the people in their communities to prevent the spread of this terrible disease. Where's the plan? Put it on the table. That's the best response to the situation we're facing now, Mr. Speaker.